Hi, heroes. I'm Stan Lee, but hold the applause. Listen, we have a real treat for you this time. I've got um, Rob Liefeld, and I don't seem to recall your name. Uh, Todd McFarlane, yes, I, we've met before. Yes, sir. Two of the comic, two of the best artists, writers in this business. And we have the rare opportunity of having them together, and we're going to do something that's never been done before, at least it's never been done before all these cameras. I'm going to throw, and I promise you, we haven't rehearsed this, I'm going to throw a name at them, and they're going to create a character based on what I tell them, and you better make it good. Okay, it now I've got this name, I've been wanting to do a movie with this title, I never thought of it as the name of a character, but it occurs to me it's the kind of name I think you guys could play with, and the name is Overkill. Oh, now, goodness. I'm hitting you with that. He's obviously got to be the roughest, toughest, meanest hero, if you will, ever done before. So you've got about 20 minutes. Give it your best. And be careful, because I'm watching every move. Okay, what we'll do is we're going to try to do a collaboration. We'll be adding uh, back and forth to it. And what we'll do is we'll try to explain our thinking on how we're coming across and why we're doing overkill the you way You can it is. think and draw at the hey, same time? Yeah, That's pretty good. we've even talked. So what we'll do is Rob will start doing the outline, and because we're going to do this and put it in a comic book, I'll be working on the logo. So by the time he's got the outline, I'll be done with the logo, and then we'll start going from there. For the uninitiated, okay. of course, the logo is the lettering of the masthead. Now, here we go. Okay, now I figure... Rob and Todd. Okay, now I figure if we're going to have overkill, then the O in the overkill will make it as a gun sight. Oh, cool idea. So yeah. we'll have we'll have the the gun That's sight terrific. in here, and we'll have the gun sight come up in here, and then after that, I can I can do the rest of it overkill. I'll probably break it up into two words. I'll make it over, and then I'll probably maybe slant the word kill on there, so that it it, it kind of breaks it up and it's not one long read. Rob, are we going to make him thick, or are we going to make him oh, have the well, this obligatory guy is strong thick. heroic character okay. over there? Right. He's got to be a guy. He's got to be huge. Thick neck, broad thick, shoulders. Thickest neck. Thickest Are you going to give shoulders. him the usual shoulder pads? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not real sure yet. What do you think, Todd? I don't know. I, a Liefeld character without shoulder pads is almost naked. I think if we if we we got to have guns, we got to have armor. 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 Armor, armor, meant. armor and armor. Okay. One thing okay. that we that I think the kids also like is uh, why don't we come in with the kids like chains? You know, okay, because the chains, chains. Besides, they look good when they're hanging. If they're hanging down here. He can always pick them up and whip people around with them, and especially if it's going to be overkill, his equipment's got to be overkill as well. Oh, heck so. yeah. Always okay, remember, here. always already. remember he's tough, but he's not violent. Okay. Along, those line, <laughs> along those lines already, he's got the biggest shoulder pads ever existed. It's like I this, figured he would. This chest plate, and right here, okay, it, it covers this each shoulder and runs across the middle of his chest. Okay, you want to place chains on him? Oh, that's cool. Nice. You know, I wish there were a way to prove to the audience that this really is something that you guys are ad-libbing right now. But you have to take my word <laughs> for it, it as a Marvel bullpenner that we've never done this before. I, we just decided to do this. We were in the studio. The guys were here. We said we have about a half hour to kill. Let's have some fun. This is the first time they've heard the name Overkill, and they're just doing great. Okay. This character is really coming forth. I love that masthead. And oh, since your uh, last video didn't go too good, you wanted to call it <laughs> over-edit. Over but we're going to call it overkill. And as a matter of fact, what we could do here is I'd probably make this a blood red uh, in, right in here for the overkill. We could even do something if we wanted. I don't have the time and the technology. We could have done something in eyesight in here. We could have had a reflection of maybe somebody with their eyes wide, wide open or something like that. He's going to do the character here. And while he's doing that, I think what we'll do is... Just to make him cool for a poster, we'll put some gunshot wounds back into the wall here. Sounds good. Terrific. Okay, what do you right. think? Uh, should he have hair or should he be bald? I'm make him bald. bald. I'm he can be bald. pretty tough looking bald, can't he? Yep. Oh, I think so. Yep. I, think def I keep definite telling sign. that to myself as I keep losing my hair. Definite sign of baldness. And we now, tell me what you think of his personality. I mean, because the way you draw him will obviously express his personality. Okay. How do you see a guy who looks like that and who's called overkill? Uh, uh, tough as nails. T He's tough. I, the guys that always scared me aren't the guys that really are psychotic killers, but the guys that are actually completely in control of what they do. Uh, those are the guys, like a, the Joker is compared to, let's say, the Kingpin. The Kingpin kind of scares me more because he's, he actually knows every single thing he's doing. So I'd like to see this guy right here with all the armor and stuff be a quiet guy, 
but know exactly what he's doing and have a reason for doing it. Sort of everything. my type. Quiet, but incredibly menacing yeah. all the time. I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what I've done Glad here. you mentioned the Kingpin, <laughs> uh, one of our favorite Marvel characters. Okay, I'll tell you what I've done here. This, I've given him, building off your, You've your taken gun sight, that? Great. and put it right over his eye, right Great. here. And kind of a broad, broader nose, again, the grimace on the face. I'm giving him a layer of, like, chain mail or uh, armor down his neck. Highlighting it right now. Have you and noticed Todd's tough guys take... very rarely have narrow noses? This is true. They all, they, it, the nose has been broken several <laughs> times. Okay. Now, how would you say his personality... I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but I'm just trying to put you on the spot. How would you say that his personality would be different from most of our other tough guys, like Wolverine and um, all of the others? Uh, and he, Cable? See, uh, as, as, he, as he pointed out, Wolverine's more of a psychotic. Uh, I, I like the idea that he's more in control. Um, knows knows what he's doing. Knows how to achieve it fast and quick. So and he's a little bit out of control. So, well, see, the but you had wanted him more. No, no, control. he is no. control. No, I, I, oh, he's he is more in control. control. See, yeah, one, yeah. Of the, one of the things you'll find too, Stan. I mean, you're the you're the writer, bud. Is that good, good. as as the time goes on, the characters start to take a, a a kind of a venue of their own. So maybe today, yeah, we say, well, he's going to be this and this and that. But we find that as we get into issue six or issue seven. Ah, uh, he's leading us into this direction, and maybe we're going to change, and maybe we're going to add this to him. And you know how that goes. All of a sudden, it's like it, by issue 12, he's not a, he's not what we started. The yeah. costume might be the same, but he himself personally, and I think that's part of the fun that You're the kids go for the right. ride with us is that they can sit there yeah. and they can go, yeah, okay, well, we're going to go with the ride with Rob. We're going to go with the ride with Todd because they look cool. But it's up to you, Stan. Okay, I, I think I think along the lines of the name Overkill, I think he should be along. Somehow, like he's a uh, half man, half machine. He's, he's, you know, fighting that inside. He's, he's part partly a cyborg. You know, he's a combination of of technology and brutality. All ooh, right. Ooh, ooh. You know, we're something? getting character. We probably couldn't do this if you weren't right-handed and you weren't left-handed. Hey, There'd be no way to work it, it, it worked out. out. So the it camera out. could catch it. Okay, huh? I've given him these spikes on the side of his of his armor. They're off to the side, so nobody can get near this guy. Great. Okay. I just thought of something fantastic. You know what we're going to do when we're finished? What are we going to do? Both of you guys are going to sign this, and we're going to donate it to a charity auction. Sounds good to me. Okay. Because and, I mean, and this we're is gonna, really one of a kind. And isn't we're going to put it out on the movie, and uh, like the Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles, and uh, then we'll we'll fight over it. <laughs> and, oh, and heck five yeah. years from now, and then we'll never we'll be talk. in court. That's we'll right. be in the tabloid. <laughs> yeah, it's the last thing we need is a lawsuit. Oh, yeah. there's no need to fight over it. It's obviously my creation, but you fellas were a great help. <laughs> and I'm sure Whatever that I'll see to it you get some sort of credit. Okay, okay. We I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him some big knee pads here because a guy like him that's got some armor and's got some guns and Has stuff like that pads. is gonna go down. He's gonna go in any position that he's gonna wanna go to. So if he's got some protection on his knees, he's gonna basically be like a gauntlet. He can throw himself all over the place and not really be injured too much. I know an 11-year-old kid who's a roller skater who has the same Same thing. attitude, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Okay, but so far, you do it great. Define this up right here. So Boy, he looks grim, doesn't he? Kids, you know, I mean, the kids, li the kids like the dark, moody mm, stuff. I mean, they seem you know, to, the, yeah. I mean, years ago with something else, they liked the nice, clean costume and stuff. But today, you know, the more armor, the more belts and buckles and mm -hmm. straps and whatever that uh, basically glorified bikers. I mean, you, you know, mean the kind of noble Stan Lee, clean-cut type is getting passe? That's yeah. a shocking thought. Uh, uh, yeah, passe. I wouldn't say that. It's uh, become born to him. <laughs> 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 All right, I think you've done enough. <laughs> hey, how do you? I'm glad you're doing a little something here because somehow you just doing some rough lettering I don't know poor old uh, Rob, Rob over there. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? Right Possibly. here? Yeah. Okay I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I want to give him some leather straps underneath. We'll make this armor right in here okay. but if I give him some leather straps up underneath it so he's also got some leather down up behind him so even his okay. arm because see the thing is if we if we overload him or overkill him Stan good good one <laughs> when he's working out we'll make him sweat too you know and the kids will love it He's working hard. He's not too perfect. The perspiration just gives him that much oh, more yeah, ruggedness. Yeah. But I have a question I've been wanting to ask you guys. Mm -hmm. How long does it take these people to get dressed, these kind of characters? Who says they undress? <laughs> I mean, there's something they have to get out quickly to save the world, but it takes them an hour and a half to so, get into all of this stuff that's if right. they work fast. That's right. But see, this is getting into the costume is like going to the bathroom in comic books. You never show it, but you assume that... Superman and Batman and Spider-Man actually do go and urinate every now and then, You're right? You're right, but you never do show it, do you? No. <laughs>
<laughs> but you do show, very often you show people getting dressed, especially women. I seem to recall that now. Yeah, no, then. well, that's okay, because they, we got to show, they show that, I mean, how many uh, things in the movie you see when they're drawing, or that somebody's talking to a lady and she's always getting changed for the job? I'm gone. Didn't so, I ever have, have, have okay. Spider-Man go to the bathroom? Come to think of it, I wonder. <laughs> I, I've got to go reread you know, like some you know, like Yep. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put... What's that little line over here? This would be the back of his... Because it's got, we're gonna make it almost uh -huh. like wings, so to go, here's the shoulder blades, and then uh, it come back. Uh, if we did a back view... I don't think he needs to fly. What do you think? He's too heavy to fly, does, but... No, no he doesn't fly. think he flies? He, he's just he's a tank. I see him as a, as, as a human tank. Just and if he's gonna fly... We if there's something him. in his way, he'll just walk around. And here. if he's gonna fly, we'll call him Boeing. Walk through it. You guys sure are tickling this. I think it's great. <laughs> All right, now listen, we have about 10 more minutes, so you have a lot of time to draw oh, the rest okay. of them. We can, okay, we can overkill this guy. Yeah, we're gonna, too. <laughs> I think we we're doing gonna. it, too. Anyway, no, it's a lot easier maybe, for Maybe me. we can make overkill Junior over You're here. Right there. there. This is the easiest assignment I've ever had. Um, you're doing all the work, and I just have to nod and say that's pretty cool and take the credit for it at the end. And we should do more shows like this. Yeah, that's we it. Should, huh? And since, uh, let me see. Who's I don't mind we'll you. Make uh, his, we'll make, see, he's got his hand here. Rabbi, he, we got to be holding something. So Buddy. Holding. What? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, that's go his ahead, side. Ahead, oh, no, you go. go. I mean, you go got ahead, a hand go. over here. You're, you're a son of a gun. He's done a nice, complete hand. You don't want to play with the I'm going to work on this hand right here. No way, I'm working you on this You draw hands? Are you into hands, really? Oh, yeah, I'm the best. You do hands? I'm the okay, best. What do you think about his chest up here? I was thinking, like... Knowing you, hair, you're you going to put a lot of hair on it. No, no, he, no. he's or covered. he's covered he's up, is he? He's covered, he's covered, he's covered. I'm going to put some more gadgets here, like some blasters or something. I don't know, I don't know. He shoots through his chest? Oh, heck yeah, you can't get close. Boom! Every part his of whole body's lethal, overkill. Huh? All right. Yeah, big gun. Um, we'll give him, how about if we give him, the kids all select, and I don't know how these guys run, but why don't we give them here... Wires coming out here, coming oh, down. Up. They the love kids, that the stuff. The kids love wires. The wires oh, yeah, that he'll yeah, trip over. Oh yeah, yeah. Just like the capes that they run around on. The chains, the cables, okay. the wires. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him wires over here, but it's gonna be on the underside of his arm because if they were on the outside, these things would cut him, and he'd be discombobulated. So. Hey, you draw good wires. Oh. Um, hey, his wires are almost as good here's as your practice. Webs. How about you? Want to give him a web or two? No Just way. to show how you draw no, webs? No way, it's no? been okay. done. <laughs> it's been done. Let's not, let's, let's rehash that. Let's give him some new stuff here. Every time I think of you guys, I think webs for you and wires Shoulder for pads. you. Shoulder pads, you yeah. got it. Okay. Now what's happening to the knee? Are you giving him the same kind uh, of knee? Yeah, as symmetry. We've got to have symmetry here, you know. Okay. He's going to give him a knee pad. We give him a knee pad. He gave him leather straps, I gave him leather straps. He's got these over here. This guy, you know, he's got to be and designed And he's really well. going to be able to he's move with all of this of stuff? Of course he is. Right. Stan, this is comic books, bud. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got to suspend. You know, reality for him, okay, I'm going to give him some knuckles here that are going to be like steel glove knuckles up in here. So that, again, he's all, he's all, I mean, I don't like you uh, saying suspend reality. I have always told myself that our comic books are really the okay. ultimate when it comes That's to reality. Okay. That they are reality based. Hey, I'm going to put some wires that, like, tangle differently, like around his leg, kind of cool looking. Drives the point home that he's. Now that means you've got to do the same in your leg. Can you no, wait, do you want the symmetry on it? Do you think we should have symmetry? Uh, no, or make can, it you asymmetric. Can go on that one. Go okay, I'm gonna have, let's give him a little bit more. I don't like. We gotta have a lot of chain here. You gotta you usually, usually gotta have more than one. Put, you see, I put the whole chain around here. Yep. Okay. Guys, um, do you see him as a member of a team or do you see him as loner. a loner? No, nope. really. Yep, and where loner. does he live? Where does he live? Where you live, Stan? Uh, I think Los he's, Angeles. He's, where else would a person live? Uh, this guy's out in Malibu. He's a beach bum. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> he goes, I know the sun isn't gonna do him much good in all that covering. That's it. He but, gets sunstroke. He goes out and kills people. Well, now okay. let me ask you another question. These things are vitally important, as you know. Does he have a double identity? Is he really no, a meek uh, accountant who, who, in real who, who, life? Who else could he be besides Overkill? Well, I mean, what if, when he takes off all these clothes, is he a 97-pound weekly? Do you, do you see him taking this stuff off? By the time he takes Never, it huh? off, then another villain's come in because it took him 12 hours to get <laughs> off. He's into the next issue. He's got to put it back on. By the time he takes it off, he's died of old age. I say he, I say he's, he works at a gym, like a gold gym, because he'd be in such good shape taking all that steel stuff off and on. That's how he got into, into the condition yeah. he's Works in, for me. Works. putting his costume on and okay. off. Okay, how about, how about It's like here. lifting weights. Give him like a headset or something. Okay. Constant contact. Yep. On one okay. side, see? Yeah. Sometimes, like a lot of people, yeah. sometimes, you know, even when they, they design their house and they put stuff up, they think two pictures got to be side by side. The yeah. stuff that looks cool now is when you just kind of lopsided things sometimes, you know? That I we wondered got why you walk that way. Yeah, well, uh, the Igor, they call me. Sometimes. Okay, <laughs> okay. On, on his, right here. He's got three different cannons. Oh, like, he's got a gun. Like, like okay, he, if, if, he, if he lifts it up, like his... Are they all the same millimeter? If his, this, this is a real, 
rough fist, okay, okay. face thumb. He would have three different cannons different that are okay. facing you for the large kapui. So right here. They could be like missile launchers or whatever. But he's going to have those right over here. What makes you make those thing. value judgments? Why only three? He's got four knuckles. Because three is the only number I could fit on his hand. Yep. <laughs> Just like, like uh, in oh, cartoons, oh. three fingers always work better than that? four. Have so. you noticed Calvin and Hobbes that they only have three fingers? Yep. Oh, you did notice it. No, seriously. I've yeah. won bar bets with that. Nobody has ever noticed it. Okay, look at check. I'll it. never ask you anything again. Uh -huh. Someday you know, you think we're giving stand. people Someday. the wrong impression wh that they think it's always this much fun working on new characters? Oh, I think it's always this much They fun. don't know about the trouble and the toil and the turmoil that goes into this. Okay, but we're what is that? Is he smoking? Oh, the smoke is billowing out of this. We're going to get a good licensing <laughs> deal on this character. Yeah, right? we are. We're okay. going to make millions for some charity okay. with this drawing. Okay. Uh, okay. But it's not the drawing. It's, it's your lettering, Todd. I mean, this <laughs> lettering is absolutely <laughs> That's right. That's logo. Okay. I love the way you did this. I'm going to give him a fan on this leg here. I wonder if I should have copyrighted this name before I gave it to you. Uh, I don't know. As my, soon as we're finished, we'll all run to, the, to our lawyers. <laughs> my people's already on it. Or my perp have yeah. your people call my They're, people. Okay. Soon. Okay, so there's the smoke. What do you do for his legs? What do you want to do for his legs? Legs are important. Yeah. No more straps. Should he wear some more armament on his legs? Yeah, I think so. I think something? so. Mm -hmm. Why don't we put rivets on him? Small rivets running up his body here. Won't he look like a robot or something? That's what he looks like. I what think kind of rivets? Small There's tiny rivets. human there. Small tiny rivet. Okay. Like let's okay. say you've given you us a line any right small here. Big rivets. Uh, now that I think of it, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, the rivets live next door to me. John Rivet, he's a little shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> See why I love this man? I really don't know. <laughs> a wit beyond. Okay, I'll give him the, the rivet. Cause you gotta give the shadow on the downside, ain't eh? there? Ah, perfect. Okay. Rivet. Rivet. Your rivets seem to be a little larger than. Than Todd's rivets. No, 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 no. Okay, I hate to say that. no, no. I mean, no, that's okay. Listen, I gotta better. look like an editor, don't hey, I? Hey, hey, why don't we give him like a couple more over here too? Like, like give him multiple rivets. Yep, two. But but only on this side of the leg, yep. on each side. Okay. You'll drive the readers crazy. Why does he have more on that side than that side? No, no. I'm saying on each side of this leg, however, so so he's he's riveted. Now, I think just for the I think sake the rivets of our should go up to here. For the sake of our unseen viewers, mm -hmm. is this really the type of thought process that you guys go through when you yes. create characters? Except, except for we have more than 20 minutes. Of <laughs> <laughs> we usually probably longer than you usually do. Yeah, now we, 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 I would say the most of the time we go home, we know that we got an issue coming up, so if we're working on like issue 10, we're thinking about the guy we're going to create in issue 14. I mean, that's how I do it. So that way, when we come down to it, it's not like, <gasps> well, I got an issue, we got to get it out, we got to create it, we got to come up with the character right off the bat. Well, I think I, I've got to say seriously, which isn't easy for me to do, but I think it's very impressive that in a matter of 20 minutes, you guys could come up with something like this. I mean, bad as it is, it's still <laughs> impressive that you were able to do it this quickly. Well, we're, well the name that you gave us was pretty lame. So <laughs> Thanks, we did Sahib. the best that we could do, but... All right, since you don't like it, remember, it's in my copyright. Uh, okay. Book. No way. Thanks a lot, pal. I get all right. Well, look at to this. The, hey, we uh, got to put the gun marks. I didn't do this. Lunch tails and to yeah, the stationary and the already. action figures. Yeah, that's a cool logo. That Rob, really didn't cool you promise logo. that you would draw and we would do the talking? I'm and when sorry, you I'm grow sorry. up a little more, you okay. know, we'll let you in there right. with the grown-ups. Yeah. Well, my 12th birthday is coming <laughs> up, guys. Well, when you, when you were creating characters, Stan, mm -hmm. uh, what was the process back then? I mean, because Rob and I right now, we do our own writing and our own drawing. We, we, don't, we don't collaborate with mm -hmm. anybody anymore, so... That's the problem, and I've been meaning to talk to you guys about that. Uh, no, what, what I would do is just, as we did just now, I would dream up a name, but then I would write a synopsis of who the character was, what his or her powers were, and where they lived, what they did, what the personality was, and then I would call whatever artist was going to work on it, and I would give it to them and give them a rough idea of a plot and say, go, you know, and turn them loose. And I always got something back from the artist that wasn't quite what I expected. It was usually better than I expected. And then I'd write the copy, and we were off and running. I loved working that way. Mm -hmm. See, you with you guys, I didn't do it that way. I didn't tell you what I wanted. I just said, call them over, kill them. Challenge us. And I must say, you have more than lived up to the challenge. Boy, he is one grim-looking guy. There's no way this man can move. Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's how you beat I him. I think he's a statue. That's how you beat him. You run behind him, you push him over, and he falls over, and he can't get up. He's too heavy. <laughs> what would you say he weighs? A uh, couple, couple hundred thousand. He's got to have a power to defy gravity, I would say, just looking at he's him. He's a tank. I mean, I, what do you think of him? I think he's like a human tank. He looks like a human tank. 
Now, the funniest thing would be if you say that these are jets and he's the fastest man alive. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now, he's got to be some sort of a rampaging, savage type of guy, and his name is Overkill. And maybe a lot of the things that he's wearing on him are to restrain him, to slow him down, and to stop him Ooh, when he goes on a rampage. Huh? You've done what this you before. Wow, that's, yeah, that's good. I swear, that's it just good occurred idea. to me. Because with a name like that and the way you have him, we've got to justify all of this paraphernalia somehow. Okay, Stan. That's and we're always afraid if ever he can kind of break loose from those chains and that other stuff. Okay, then okay. you want to get a plot together, Stan. Rob and I are putting a good word for you up at the office if oh, you hey, want. Would you? Yeah. yeah, we would. Yeah, I, I want to tell you, I would love one letters. day to write some stuff that you guys draw. <gasps> but of course, you have to do it exactly the way I tell you. You have to be very subservient, very docile. Okay. My name comes first as much as Oh, larger. you haven't talked to people you know, about the usual. <laughs> you haven't talked to people. Am I in for a little surprise? Cocky one and cocky two. Oh, yeah. We <laughs> 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 No way. Well, then you'll get along well with me because I'm meek, modest, and humble. So I think as we we'll found do out today, thing, as you know. Sure. Now I think we're reaching. The, no, we have a few more minutes, and okay. I think if we can just finish that his okay. left leg. Well, now check this out. Okay. okay. He's what got chainmail covering all the body. All Perfect. the body. Perfect. Then he's slammed this armor over this. Okay. You want to leave this exposed because then that gives like an element you of vulnerability. It's so like the hero can want? at least stab him right here, right here. That's the only place they can hurt him. Yep. You want to? Here. Like it. We love it. Hey, can I just have that for a minute so I can it. say I had a hand yep. in this? I think do the, do more, the hair, Stan. Hair. Hairs there, huh? go quick, go quick. Don't think about it. There you it. go. There you go. Uh, All right, now, uh, uh, everybody have, in the time. world who's watching knows that the three of us have drawn this character. That's it's very right. obvious, and I have it on tape and on record <laughs> and so forth. I don't know that you're really doing my character right. That's all right, I guess, for a yeah, bunch yeah. of beginners. That's it. Either okay. that or we could have made him look like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Dough that was our second choice. <laughs> yep. I got A little fat you. guy with lumps all over. It looks like a little, you know, six-month-old kid. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. Nobody's messing with this guy. You know what, Rob? What? Now, we can just sit there and, and, and go over some of the things that he wants, but I think he's perfect right I now. I think he's right. We, we keep doing it, and we will overkill I, him. I just want you to... We have a minute oh, and a half or so. I want to tighten those feet. Okay. All right, guys? Okay. Give him an ankle bone here, an ankle bone here. Come up here. Cut this one out. Oh, it pins I like a lot of the straps. That's a good idea. Do you know something? This is so incredibly unique that we could auction this off to charities to determine which charity will get it to auction it off. Jeez. I think everyone will fight for this. Here, I'm going to add some Todd bullet, bullet holes in the wall. Okay. You know what I think I'll do? I think I'll keep the original myself and we'll give a Xerox copy you know, to someone to auction There off. you go. You keep it there. You know what we'll yeah. do? We even left enough room. Even though people don't like to put the big signature, we've got enough room for Stan, Todd, and Rob right there. Oh, that's sensational. All three of us, bang, it's in and it's out. We got okay, I think he's done. Robbie? Yes. Hey, you can be the first great. to sign it, bud. No, oh, no, I, Stan. Stan goes first. Stan goes first. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll sign it on this side because really the name was mine. I don't want to take more credit than I should. Of course, I did do a few of those chest hairs, which you, and are the first things that catch the eye good. because very good they have Stan. a certain personality. Very good, Stan. Let's see. Now, being left-handed, I write this way, so I'll go this way. Stan. Here, we gotta, we, we gotta hit the. Oh, wait, I forgot. You're 91? <laughs> Stan, you're not looking at 89, buddy. You silly person. Hmm. Okay, actually, here, you want to sign this over here, Todd? There we go. Ex now, that's my part. Of excellent, it. excellent, Stan. <laughs> you know, it took me years to learn to spell that. <laughs> okay. I think it takes you longer to sign your name Heck than to yeah. draw a picture. You know? It is. That yeah, is look some at this. Oh, you're around room? Holy! And oh, uh -oh. look at this. I'm gonna put a banner on mine. What a what a what a what a what a! Look at this. We got the. Well, da -da -da. And cool. we finished right on time. And I've got to tell you one thing. I think that everybody watching now knows why we call this series a visit with the comic book greats. You guys are terrific. <laughs> Thanks a Thanks, million. Dan. Thanks. Dan. Oh, it was really great. I hate giving this away, <laughs> but I think it'll do a lot of good. And um, maybe we'll do a future tape sometime where we show people who got it, what was paid for it, no, it's and we'll job. do a few others. It's your job to peddle this as a movie now. All right. That's, that's right. All right. Well, that's the idea. There's that's the idea. So we give this to a charity, but I use it to sell a movie on the basis of it, okay? Okay. And if you guys play your cards right, you'll get a free ticket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good night to both of you. Thanks a lot.
Hey, that's really sensational. I mean, what a job you guys did. Let me tell you, I, I couldn't get a good look. I'm looking upside down. That's fantastic. Yep. I'm going to step out, okay? Incidentally, you guys have ruined us. We've decided to give up comics and we're going into showbiz. Boys, I think they're okay. Oh, couldn't have been better.